Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me. Reviewing Love Island USA Season 6, Episode 20. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. Two things. I see y'all searching my name. I see it. I see you clicking on my videos on the homepage and not the subscriptions page. Listen, the subscriptions! It's just a title. It doesn't actually cost you anything. You better click that button. Click that button. If we could get to 60K, then the Love Island crew will be my favorite crew. Secondly, not feeling the best today. Like, the voice is a little bit better, but internally, I am dying. So, yes, there is a lot to talk about in this uh, video. Don't know if I will really like dive into a lot of stuff today. Maybe I'll go in, uh, oh no, I'm already losing it. Maybe I'll go into it more in the next video or when we go live, um, me and the girlies. But just wanna let you guys know if I don't cover some things, it's cause I'm not feeling the best. So after the recoupling, we have Janae who walks away in tears and the guys are shocked that the girls reacted the way that they did. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not dead. Like, I can't, I can't. I'm not taking so many else. Janae was, hold on. Yes. I knew it was gonna be crazy reactions, but I didn't know it was gonna be fucking like this. The boys are down bad. The girls were ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> Please speak to him. I'm gonna to speak to Kayla as well. There's so many things that you guys haven't seen. I promise you that now. That was so mean. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. Sorry, Is that how they are, That's really, for real? Very, like, I'm not gonna be childish and start trying to argue with someone. Of course. I don't know why the guys are acting. <laughs> oh my gosh. The guy, or I don't know what the guys thought. What happened? Did you think the girls would just welcome you back with open arms? Like what? <laughs> What did you think this was gonna be? But anyways, um, Janae is crying in the corner and she says again that she's tired of taking L's and some people were trying to say like, no, that's what she's crying about, Queen. I, I, I said that. Pretty sure I said that. But simultaneously, you would only consider it an L if the person who's handing you the L is somebody who you cared for. So yeah, she's crying about consistently taking L's, but it's also about Kenny doing her dirty. So yeah, I, I do feel for her, like, Love Island, mm, it's a rough time for the girlies, okay? And and more so, us girlies. Uh, yeah, I do feel for you, Janae, I really do. Um, the Casa girls are annoying me, very much so annoying me. Throughout the episode, they're seen making, like, snide comments and stuff, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, you're in a position where you are attached to somebody who was previously attached to somebody else, and now that person has to just watch you flourish while they're just here on their lonesome. Like, how did you think you were gonna be received? And I swear the Casa girls do this every year. It's never gonna be happy days for you unless the person who you're partnered up with was already single, or there was already an agreement with their person that, hey, they're not gonna keep the con connection like going further. It's never going to be, oh, welcome in, girls. Like, mm? they were talking too much this episode for me. Sorry, they were. Uh, Robert Miguel talked to Serena, um, trying to root for him in Serena's face, but like, I don't think this was the method to do it because why are you talking about Daya right now? They were very close the whole time and he'll tell you that. I'm sure. She actually really likes him. Me and she, him was watching him and, I was, and we literally looked at each other and was like, right, this girl feels cool though. They were very close, but he has been talking about you nonstop. There's one thing about exploring a connection respectfully and being disrespectful. I mean, I saw the kisses, but like, I didn't, yeah. know the, didn't know the drama. Yeah, I didn't shit. see that. Really I really wish shit. I could show you all the video. I just told that man. Men have done me disrespectful this whole time. The whole reason why I was scared to open up to you was because of how disrespectful I've been done. So what the guys don't understand is, yes, Cordell might have felt a way about his connection before going to Casa Amor. Yes, he owed it to himself to explore his connections, but exploring literally does not mean you need to suck the face of a new girl five minutes after you meet her. Like, I don't know why every year this is some kind of debate. Exploring can simply be talking to the person, seeing if you're compatible, and then bringing them into the villa to explore the connection further. And it's not just Serena who sees the way that Cordell moved as disrespectful. Cordell himself, by his own 
rules is like, mm, no, nah, I was breaking the rules. I, I really was. Like, that was disrespectful. He himself acknowledges that it was disrespectful. And it would have been better if Miguel and Cordell uh, uh, who? No. were just like, listen, he definitely could have handled things so much better. He could have, but we love you guys together. We hope that you can mend things. Like, I feel like that would have been a better approach than saying, no, he was thinking about you the whole time and what he did wasn't even that bad. Uh -uh 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 -uh. Don't do that. Because that's what pisses off Serena at the end of the episode because you're playing in her face, making it seem like Cordell was all about her when he really wasn't. Because if he was, he wouldn't have been wilding out the way he did in Casa More. Simply put, you wouldn't be doing that much for somebody you wouldn't be doing that much with, oh, when there is somebody who you still uh, care deeply for. Leah is trying to tell the guys, I forget which guy she's talking to, that it um, that it is more hurtful how they were moving in Casa because they were being super respectful. Now, I don't know why she threw herself in the mix saying like, you know, we're constantly catching L's in here and we just had such a hard time. I'm like, Leah, you should have never put your trust in Miguel. Like, what? Okay, and I don't think Leah has had as hard of a time as she's making it seem like. Whenever she became a free agent, somebody was knocking on her door. You're not in the same boat as Janae and Serena, sorry. You, you're not. I need Cordell to stand on business. I need Kenny to stand on business. I need Aaron to stand on business. They keep saying that they're testing their relationship, but again, the testing doesn't have to go as far as they took things. Um, to me, Kendall is the only one who was pretty much respectful in terms of exploring. His commentary was alarming to Nicole at the time, but she hasn't said anything about it, so maybe she just doesn't care anymore. And then I wondered to myself, is Serena, not Serena, sorry, Sierra, no longer an option for him? Because he said the only person who could really turn his head was Sierra. And now Sierra is in the house. So is that like done for good? Is there still potential? I don't know. I just wonder what's gonna go on there. But Nicole does tell him she only has eyes for him. Aaron talks to Kayla on the dock. To me, he completely downplayed what was going on in Casa. I did say that I liked her. You liked the girl that Rob brought back. Yeah, listen, I'll, I'll talk- I'm so I'm, confused. I'll, him and Daniela, like they obviously, they showed interest in each other. But Rob took a step back from it because of me. I feel like we didn't get tested, so I was just like, okay, I'll go with it. So, yes, after the challenge that we kissed on the first day and then the second day. So you pecked her a couple times? Yeah, and that was it. And then, but... Just so stupid of me. But I'm sorry because I knew this, like, I knew this was going to upset and you, you, and that's why like, I... Did you hold her in bed? I did, Cosla. So, according to After Sun, the Costa girls said that Aaron's mood completely shifted after he heard... Kayler screaming like F you from the main villa, which to me would make sense because it's like mm, that 180 was a little bit too sudden. It was a little bit too abrupt. I don't think he all of a sudden had this clarity just before Casa ended. Like to me, mm, no, to me that doesn't make sense. But also, even if it wasn't that, if you watch the show, you know that Casa is pretty much three to four days. So you can wild out for the first two days and then be a changed man come day three. It like, I don't know, this is a little bit too calculated for me when it comes to Aaron. So his excuse is that um, they were always open, but I'm thinking to myself, is this not the same guy who was pissed off at Kayla at the beginning when they were open and earlier on in their relationship for kissing Connor outside of a challenge? And kissing another guy inside of a challenge? Like, Aaron, come on now. By your own standards, you would have found this disrespectful. So don't be downplaying it now because you're the perpetrator. That was crazy to me. Um, I also hate when people say that. Like, the same thing is happening in Love Island UK. Just because we're not a closed off or exclusive couple, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend, doesn't mean that the way you act will not affect me. What is the bridge from being single to being in a relationship? I need to build trust in you. I need to know that you're not going to disrespect me, that what you're telling me is the truth. So yeah, we're open, but we've cultivated a relationship and I felt like you would re would you would respect that more than you have. Like I I really don't understand the guys when they use being open as an excuse. Like it, it it's crazy to me. But anyways, um 
He later on says in this conversation that he knows that she's a smart girl and will see through the BS. Clearly not if she's still giving you a try. And then he later on, like later in the night, tells Liv that he knows he loves Kayler. This is how you treat people that you love? Like, that's even more asinine to me. I would have rather he didn't say that because if you were still on the fence of being in love with Kayla, then fine. But you are saying you know you loved her even before you went for Casa and that's how you move? You're going to be acting like a rabid dog whenever you smell some new coochie? Like, I'm sorry. No. No. I would not accept Aaron back at all, but... Kayler's not me, child. Kayler convinces Liv to introduce themselves to the new girls. Um, and they are singing Aaron's pr praises. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm Liv, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. What's your name? Hi, what's your name? I want to say that Aaron is literally the sweetest person ever. And he was, like, really excited to come back to you. I kind of did a better job at keeping to myself at this and time. And that's fair. Yeah. yeah. That's really fair. The girls are, like, so mean. It's just cattiness. It is what it is. I like, I'm trying not to be pissed about it. Low key am. Dude, I. Every time they said something bad, I was like, yeah, you were you, laughing you, at yeah, me. Like, you held you, yourself yeah, yeah. so well. So, yeah. Like, you were like, you were like, okay, girl. So I'm gonna be rude for a moment, even though some people think I'm rude all the time, but <laughs> quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna be rude for the moment and say to these Casa girls, it's not a flex to be a pick me. So I actually decided to cut out what I what I really said about these girls because I realized that me being sick right now makes me irritable. And so I said some not so nice things. We'll just cut that out and pretend it never happened. It's so rich for these girls to be saying things about the main villa girls when I'm like, you're not in a great position yourself. I hope you know that. And at the end of the day, they're feeling this way because of the guys that you are coupled up with and how they have acted. If he could do that to them, he could do, oh, if they could do that to those girls, they could do that to you. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, anyways, moving on. Cordell talks to Daya. Um, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was, I'm so over this. Um, she basically is parenting him and she's like, you need to be confident, you know, stand by your decision, whatever, whatever. Like the nickname Big Mummy is so fitting because she really was like his mother in this conversation. Um, Daya says that the antics at the fire pit were overboard and I agree with her. Um, but I also do understand that the women were acting out of a place of hurt. So they are going to say some things that are going to be hurtful in the moment. And they weren't directed at the Casa girls, even though the Casa girls did catch, you know, a few strays. Janae asked Kenny why he brought somebody back and he said it was to test their relationship. Now, they both get emotional in this conversation. I'm still gobsmacked at the fact that there was anything to be emotional over. Um, besides the fact that she's tired of experiencing the same thing over and over and over again. Like, we hear this from girls who leave the show, especially like black women. Um, and rarely do we see them actually talk about it on the show. So yeah, my heart does break for her. And also Serena, because she experiences this more so on the outside and she's bringing that conversation in here. But it is exhausting to constantly be putting yourself out there, putting your faith in somebody and having them throw that in your face. Like it is embarrassing. It is exhausting. I understand why Janae was, um, was over it. Um, Janae to me also gives me the impression that she puts relationships and marriage on a pedestal and that's not to be, you know, that's not to slight her, but based on how she was talking when she first came into the villa, I think that marriage is very important to her. So she does hold a lot of weight in relationships and stuff. And so when it keeps not, when it keeps panning up this way, it's, it's just chipping at her more and more and more. And I can see why she's kind of at her wit's end at this. Um, Kenny starts to cry, sucks to fumble a bad B. <laughs> sucks to fumble a bad B. Don't know what to tell you, Kenny. And then Leah keeps telling him that things aren't fair, but honey, he did this to himself. It is absolutely fair. This is the consequences of his own actions. Janae decides to sleep outside along with Kayla and Aaron who both slept in soul dies. Oof, child. Uh, Nicole and Kendall were doing something under the sheets. We don't know what it was, but they were doing they were doing something. And then the next morning, the Casa girls still feel excluded by the Villa girls. That's going to be a thing for a while. It happens every year. It's not going to be a quick turnaround. 
Um, Kaylor feels like Aaron's apology was sincere and she's willing to work on things. All the Costa girls got breakfast outside of Sierra, who did get emotional about it. But if she would have just waited, she would have seen that Miguel was actually making her breakfast. But I'm still like, girl, I think you should uh, count your losses when it comes to Miguel. I don't think, I don't think he's going to do right by you in the long run. That's just my opinion. Then, hmm, Cordell decides to make breakfast for both Daya and Serena. Now, it was received well by Daya, not so much by Serena. This is for you. Right. Thank you. Don't even. Serena. I don't want that shit. I'll get it. Get it out of my face. Good morning, Cordell. Good morning, Good morning. Rob. Good morning. Good morning. Cordell is crazy, Janae. He's trying, and I support that he's trying. I already know how some of y'all gonna be. I already know how some of y'all gonna be. But if you ask me, and if you're watching my channel, you basically are asking me. Um, this was disgusting. I'm sorry, this was a disgusting display. I know you're hurt. I know you feel disrespected. I know you feel like, how dare he take me for idiot on television. But this? That was disgusting. That's all I'm gonna say, let's move on. Cordell and Aaron talk on the dock about um, how things went in Casa. And Cordell is really reflecting on his actions and realizing, yeah, definitely took things overboard. Definitely should have dialed things back. I'm just such a physical person, bro. And it's, I guess I got caught up in the moment. She could at least give me the chance to like explain and talk, but you know. If she does care for you, she will eventually want to speak to you and hear you out. I don't think she cares for me. I think she cares about how she feels about it. You know, you can just at least be honest and then she can make the decision. I firstly want to say, Aaron is lucky that he basically got away with murder because he's not in a place to counsel Cordell right now. Y'all should both be in the same boat, realistically. But, oh, he's so lucky. Oh, he is so lucky. Anyways, Cordell says that... Um, Serena is not hurt by him, but is hurt by how he embarrassed and disrespected her. I agree. Um, he talks about missing what they had, but I'm sorry. The way that things had transpired in the last 24 hours, I don't even know what there is to reminisce on, to be honest with you. Like, no, <laughs> like, no, no. I, I understand the hurt of Serena. Like, I, I totally get being hurt. I totally get feeling embarrassed. But this display the last 24 hours, if I was a guy, sorry, not going back there again. And even if I was Serena and seeing how Cordell could just quickly go against his own standards, his own morals, not going back there either. There's nothing to go back for, for either of them, if you ask me. And even later on, Serena had said that this is her being tame. On the outside, she would have handled things very differently, would you now? Mm-mm, mm-mm, wrap it up, okay? Catherine tells Kenny that the words that, that the words that were exchanged at the fire pit are basically like water under the bridge at this point. She still wants to get to know him. Um, the man stood in front of everybody and basically said that you're gonna play for a second, so I don't know what you want to stick around for, but she gonna stick around, child, so okay. Uh, Liv and Kane talk about their connection. To me, it is very non-existent, but um, she's giving it a try. I felt like she was a little bit flirtier in this conversation than she was with him in the previous conversation that they've had. But is the thing with Rob now just dead? Like that's completely over? And then Rob is also now fronting as if him and Daniela actually have a true connection and they're kissing up at soul ties. I'm like... Yo, I could never be on a show like Love Island. Like, these people are unhinged. Totally unhinged. Cordell and Daya talk about how hard it is to continue their connection with Serena now being in the villa. Um, I wish that Daya expressed her frustration with Cordell a little bit more. She had said before that... Um, what did she say, Jay? <laughs> I don't remember what she said, but she was frustrated with him. And yeah, if this is going to be your man, I would like for him to take a firmer stance on the fact that he chose me. And on top of that, not allow other people to speak sideways about me. That's me though. 
Maybe that's not diet. I don't know. Serena was talking to Aaron and she cried on the day beds. And, girl, Siri ain't, Siri ain't nobody talking to you, girl. Uh, Serena talks to Aaron <laughs> and she's crying on the day beds. And um, like I keep saying, I do feel for her. She has yet to have something solid in the villa. Um, but when it comes to her and Cordell specifically, that's where my sympathy kind of wanes. I feel like if other people, i.e. Connor, Coy, Nigel, would have paid her more attention, um, Cordell wouldn't even be a factor for her. That is my conviction. You do not have to agree. So that's where I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. I do feel for the plight that she's going through. I just don't know how closely tied it is to Cordell specifically. So everyone is excited that Leah and Miguel are trying to continue their connection. Don't know why. Leah is basically like, yeah, the other girls are really sad, but like the guys owed it to themselves to explore and call some. I said, Leah, this was not you last night. This was not you last night. If anything, you lumped yourself up with those girls, but now you talk about, yeah, I've taken L's too, but honestly, it's okay. Like you guys had to explore. You had to see what was out there. Uh, one thing about Leah, she gonna flip the script. <laughs> but okay. In the evening, Kaylor wants to know what happened between Daniela and Aaron and doesn't ask Aaron, doesn't ask Aaron, doesn't ask Daniela. She asks Rob, who in my opinion, completely downplayed things. But then she finally has a talk with Daniela and I'm thinking, okay, we're getting to the nitty gritty. No, she also downplays things. The way he moved for the cost experience was clearly different than mine. It's Aaron, like it's so easy to like talk to him. It's so weird. 100%. But he, he did tell me that like you guys cuddled. You guys yeah. shared a couple kisses, not just one. Yeah. What exactly happened? Like what you felt with Aaron was real. I think me and him just got very along very Yeah, and very he told well. me that. He kind of like processed everything a little bit more. He wanted to just like stay friends. Did you lie? Yeah, okay. I mean, we did cuddle. So leave it, it's his job to be honest with her. Yeah. Daniela, girl, I thought you were gonna be big and bad. I thought you were gonna be about something. And she goes to the other Casa girls and she's like, oh, I just, uh, I felt the pressure, I, I couldn't say what. Uh, uh. Okay, child, if everybody wants to sugarcoat this for Kayla, then fine. If Kayla wants to just lap it up, then fine. We knew she was gonna go back with Aaron. I just didn't think it was gonna happen this quickly. I thought she would have at least made him grovel. No groveling at all did he even make her breakfast doesn't look like it i don't know there was not enough groveling for me but also kayla is not me so yeah that's that um cordell is sulking while he's talking to miguel and daya while that conversation is happening decides to actually take serena aside so they can compare notes do you have like questions or you just want to know like what happened at casa and Oh, do I want to know? Yeah. Your guys' connection is really different to me and his because mine is a little bit more physical, but not in a mm -hmm. sexual way. You guys do have a strong connection, and he said, like, it would take a lot to turn my head. Leah well, said, he told you it was like 90% me and only 10% you. Did he oh, tell that's, you that? that never, that was never a conversation that we had. Kendall, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Fuck you. What is, she, what is she fucking about? You're a fucking liar. You're full of shit. I don't know why you're over here moping around. Y'all over there, hippie Kaye. Yeah, we ain't never seen him like this with you, but he with you. But when you're talking to me, it's a whole different fucking story. No, no, come yeah, on, come These back. men are Lim, wait, 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 fucking hoes. Serena. The other guys made it seem like Cordell was leaning more towards Serena over Daya and then Daya telling her that ain't true. That for her was enough to be like, okay, well, obviously everybody's playing on my face, so I'm done. I'm done with it all. I mean, I hear you, girl. Then she finally has a conversation, if we can call it a conversation, with Cordell, and things just go from bad to worse. Let's have our one-on-one. -on -one. This is why I wanted to talk to you in the first because place. Because you're fucked. How am I fucked? You're obligated to feel how you feel, but tell me how you feel. You're what, what's fucked going on? up. You're fucked up. You were not respectful in the fucking slightest. There was no type of consideration for me, or you wouldn't have done half the shit you did. And then you brought her back to rub that shit in my fucking face. Nobody was trying no. to rub shit okay, in cool, nobody's cool, face. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You feel like y'all got way more than what we got? Just say that shit. Don't say. I don't then. feel like we have way more. No. I told her. Listen. It up didn't there. take much. It is. It didn't take shit. 
Just because, It didn't listen. take shit. They ain't never seen you act the way you act with her. Okay, and, so And be I told it. them I did so the same it. shit. So be it. Yes, I got caught up in a moment. I fucked up. You made your choice. That is your choice. That's not my choice. That is your choice. Serena is definitely right when she says to Cordell, how bad could you have felt about your actions if you kept on doing them? Because that's Cordell's excuse. Like, oh, I, did, I didn't want to do it and I felt guilty and I thought about you the whole time. Then you wouldn't have continued. You wouldn't have kept doing it if you really did feel guilty. Um, he tries to say that he is human and that's why he acted the way that he did. Cordell, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that when you've just hurt their feelings. Um, I couldn't quite tell if he was trying to get her back because one moment he's like, I did what I did. What can we do about it now? And then the other moment he's like, I didn't mean it. It wasn't anything. I don't feel for her more than I feel for you. So I was just like, what, sir, pick a side stand on business. Like, what's the deal here? With Serena, um, she kept saying like, she doesn't deal with disrespect. Mainly her issue was the disrespect. And I can't dictate what she says. I can't dictate how she reacts when she's hurt. For me personally, what would have made me, like what would have pinged my heart is if she had said like, you hurt my feelings, you know? Like I do feel disrespected and I do feel embarrassed, but above all else, I cared for you and you hurt my feelings. So we'll see what happens there. It seems like there's more revelations happening in the next episode. Uh, what was going on? The social media challenge. Love that that's back. Cause we need to expose some things. And why is Sierra crying? Was that Sierra? No, it wasn't Sierra. It was Daniela crying. Interesting. I'm ready for it all. Hopefully I'm feeling better because if I'm not, y'all might not see a video tomorrow. But y'all should still subscribe regardless because I know y'all be coming and checking to see if the video is up. You would know if you're subscribed. Thank you very much. As always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 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 And I'll see you in the next one.